The epic fight over who controls the future of the car industry is about to get a whole lot more interesting. The battle for supremacy in the electric vehicle market is heating up. Toyota Motor Corporation, a latecomer to the battery electric vehicle market, is wavering in all efforts to make sure its first mass market model is safer and lasts longer than rivals' products when it goes on sale. Toyota's decades-long bet made it the leader in hybrids. But that didn't do a thing to make it an electric vehicle leader, where in fact, it trails most other makers. Now, it has to play an aggressive catch-up. Do you wish to learn more? Well, let's dive in. But first, we're giving away $100 to one of our random subscribers. All you have to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share, and lastly, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get started. For 20 years, Toyota rejected the very idea of EVs. The world's most profitable large automaker argued that its gasoline hybrids would be the best and most practical way to slash vehicle emissions. Most of Toyota's current electric vehicle sales are hybrid electric vehicles that are powered by a combination of an internal combustion engine and battery-operated electric motors. Battery-only EVs account for only a small portion of the company's current sales. According to Akio Toyoda, Toyota's CEO, the Japanese automaker will increase new investments in battery technologies by $4.4 billion to $15 billion. Toyota also plans to invest another $31 billion in other types of electric vehicles, including hybrid cars, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell electric vehicles, which use hydrogen as a power source. So what is the difference between a hybrid and an electric vehicle? Today, driving a hybrid is very similar to driving a conventional automatic car in terms of power and performance. That's because a hybrid is different from a 100% electric car. Hybrids have and use two motors, one running on gasoline and the other on a battery. In some conditions, like congested traffic, a hybrid will likely switch over to running on electricity. But when you're rolling down the highway, you'll be running on the gas engine. The result is just the right amount of power for conditions, much higher fuel efficiency, and less CO2 output. No wonder people are switching. Let's quickly take a look at the Toyota Hybrids and their amazing mileage. Toyota Avalon Hybrid 43 city and 44 highway miles per gallon Toyota Camry Hybrid 51 on city streets and 53 on the highway miles per gallon Toyota Corolla Hybrid 53 city and 52 highway miles per gallon Highlander Hybrid 36 city and 35 highway miles per gallon Toyota Prius Hybrid 54 city and 50 highway miles per gallon Hybrid Prius Prime 54 city and 133 highway miles per gallon RAV4 Prime Hybrid 38 city and 94 highway miles per gallon Sienna 36 city and 36 highway miles per gallon Toyota Tundra 25 miles per gallon Toyota Venza 40 city and 37 miles per gallon Corolla Hybrid, arriving in 2022 or 2023. As for some common concerns about hybrid vehicles, range per charge, finding charging stations, and the time it takes to charge are not an issue. Hybrids charge their own batteries, so you don't need to plug in or find a charging station. That's been said. Is Toyota coming out with an all-electric car? Masaya Yamamoto, a project manager at Toyota, said that they focus on balancing three factors cruising range, battery degradation, and charging speed. Toyota said the company plans to focus on two technologies, carbon-reducing vehicles, presumably hybrids that reduce the CO2 per mile of gasoline transportation, and carbon-neutral vehicles. BEVs typically take hours to charge, and using quick charging methods often causes the battery cells to heat up, leading to degradation. That, in turn, reduces the cruising range over time, hurting a vehicle's resale value. Toyota said its batteries developed with Panasonic Corporation contain a special coolant that does not conduct electricity easily. Battery packs are also structured to keep the cells and coolant separated in case of a leak. Toyota said that this and other innovations mean the new BEV series batteries will retain more than 90% of their capacity after a decade. 
all well and good. Toyota announced the Toyota BZ4X SUV, a battery electric vehicle. If the name doesn't immediately strike you as catchy, it might help to understand that BZ stands for Beyond Zero. The BZ4X is the first of seven in Toyota's new line of BZ vehicles. To throw another acronym at you, that's seven out of 15 battery electric vehicles. BEVs are battery electric vehicles, as opposed to hybrid electric vehicles or plug-in hybrid electric vehicles. What are the features of this Toyota BZ4X battery electric vehicle? The company on Tuesday, April 12, 2022, unveiled the battery-powered BZ4X small SUV which starts at $42,000 and can go up to an estimated range ranging from 252 miles or 406 kilometers per charge. A limited all-wheel drive version will start at $48,780. Over the course of five years, BZ4X owners can expect to save up to $5,000 compared to an average gas-powered car. The base price doesn't include Toyota's delivery, processing, and handling fee of $1,215. It comes with a 6.6 kilowatt adapter that can fully charge the car in 9 hours when connected to a level 2 charger. The look, sleek lines, and available 20-inch wheel give the BZ4X an impressive and head-turning SUV posture. Inside, you're equipped with 5 USB ports and 164 key wireless charging points. The fixed panoramic moonroof is going to give you a breathtaking view of the world above you. And there's Toyota Audio Multimedia Touchscreen Display that welcomes your device no matter what they are. Wireless compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto TM is standard. Toyota has a new eToyota new global architecture that drops the battery low in the chassis, helping you hug the road. And the BZ4X will be the first Toyota to have it. Toyota has made no secret of its reluctance to join the battery electric car movement. But given how everything is going, there really isn't another choice. While the car is in Toyota's first electrified vehicle, that title was held by the short-lived RAV4 EV. It marks the first electric vehicle that will directly compete with industry rivals, such as the Hyundai Iconic and the Tesla Model Y. Toyota already produces the second-generation Mirai, an electrified vehicle powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. The BZ4X will be the first of 15 planned zero-emissions vehicles offered by Toyota, including seven BZ models. The CEO presented in front of a row of five Beyond Zero vehicles, including the 2022 Toyota BZ4X Compact SUV. The other four included a much sleeker coupe SUV, a small SUV for Europe and Japan, a mid-size sedan, and a large SUV with available third-row seating. About nine minutes into the show, a second curtain opened, adding 11 more vehicles for a total of 16 EV concepts from both Toyota and its luxury brand, Lexus. While Toyota will have EVs in several segments, it's Lexus that will become the company's EV spearhead. Toyota's luxury brand aims for all its sales in Europe, North America, and China to be battery electric vehicles by 2030, just eight years from now. And in five years, in 2035, it expects EVs to account for 100% of global sales, putting it only about 23 years behind Tesla. How serious is Toyota really? Remember that even when Toyota manages to bring a fully battery electric vehicle to market, there's no guarantee that it'll become an instant bestseller. Toyota is the world's first maker to guarantee its EV battery will retain 90% of its rated range after 10 years. That's a real plus for first-time buyers concerned about range loss since one of the main concerns for those considering an EV. Though it's still too early to say definitively, Toyota is likely making true to its guarantee by leaving more capacity in reserve in its battery, allowing it to maintain range even as the battery gradually degrades with time. To date, very few makers have guaranteed battery capacity in their EVs and none for 10 years. However, all warranties exclude total battery failure. Early data suggests Tesla batteries seem to hold up fairly well over time, but more EVs will have to cover more miles before we have similar data for them all. The day of the fully electric, no gas required, emission-free, and powered Toyota is arriving. If you've been thinking about leaving gas-burning cars and trucks behind, 
now is the time to start giving a serious look at the fully electric vehicles Toyota is putting on the map. And we're at a time in EV development where you can enjoy all the benefits without compromising on range or get up and go. Why consider a fully electric Toyota? All the range you're looking for in an EV at an average of 200 miles. No tailpipe emissions. That's right, we said none. Lithium battery technology has improved the leaps and bounds and the cost is coming down, which brings the price of the vehicles down. Instant, quiet, smooth acceleration. You don't have to change the oil, spark plugs, or fuel filter anymore. The Department of Energy says charging an EV costs half as much as gassing up a regular car. Toyota has taken on electrification and sustainability. We already have the 2022 Mirai, but the new BZ series is the first real opening of the window through which we can see the future. And as it turns out, the near future is as soon as mid-2022. Toyota is in the EV game for real. That's undeniably a good thing for a competitive market. What are your thoughts on Toyota's new electric vehicles? We would love to know in the comments below. For more in the world of technology and science, comment below and click the subscribe button. If you like this video, check out these others.